to make these really cheap curtains, all you need are two twin flat sheets. I got mine at Walmart for $4.88 each. A pair of scissors, a white pencil or blue pencil, and a tape measure. So the first thing you're going to do is take your sheet out of the packaging. And if you're going to iron, you can do that now. I'm going to steam mine once they're hanging, so I will not be ironing my sheets. So now, prepping our sheets to be turned into curtains. This tag right here, I am going to cut that off so it's no longer there. The next thing you need to do is find the wrong side of your sheet, which I currently have facing. You can tell that by looking at the hems. This side is flat and this side has the edge. This is the wrong side of your sheet. You are now going to find the top, which I also have right here, which of course you can tell by the ridge right along here is so much wider. The bottom half will have a small narrow hem like this. So I know my width is 66 inches across for my sheet. So now I'm going to take my tape measure out and I'm going to mark with my white pencil, actually from the very edge, I'm going to mark it with my pencil, lay it out flat. If you want to iron the top, you can. And every six inches I'm going to mark it with my pencil. So I know where to cut and I'm going to do it also at the top. So as you can see every six inches I'm putting a mark at the top and one at the bottom all the way down. Okay so your first cut is going to be right here where the hem is and you're going to take and try to separate the fabric. Ah, easier said than done. So you keep cutting on each of those lines that you made. They don't have to be perfect. You just want to make sure that they don't go through to the other side like I did at the beginning, but I can hide that. That's not a big deal. And you just keep going all the way down your sheet. So now you just weave the rod in and out of the slots that you cut and put both panels on like so. This is our B4 with the sheet and the old rod thingy from the vertical blinds. After steaming them, here is the final result. They're still a little short, so I think I'm going to add a ruffle down here, and that will be in another video. And stay tuned, because I'm also going to put a burlap valance and do tiebacks, and that video, well, both of those videos will be up in the next two weeks. So remember to subscribe and like if you want to see more of my videos. Thank you for watching.